You know, it's a very challenging time to be an airline CEO. I think the only time it would be more challenging is when you're dealing with a crash because you're dealing with a situation where capacity has, or sorry, passenger demand is completely dried up. Um, travel bans at the front of the cabin, you know, you know business class seats aren't getting full. Um, load factors are extremely low. There's just no demand for air, very low demand for air travel right now. And it's a very really difficult situation. And you add to that, they still have some of these regulatory burdens. I mean, we were looking at this article from Business Insider about airlines just burning thousands of gas, gallons of fuel on empty ghost flights because in parts of Europe, they have to maintain their routes in order to maintain their slots at airports. Shouldn't these restrictions be relaxed in this environment? Um, IATA has made a very big push to get these slot restrictions um, dropped and you know, pretty much allow airlines to fly as needed to survive in this current situation. Um, but the authorities have tended to be dragging their feet a little bit. You're seeing a bit more leniency, a bit more understanding on their parts, but there's a bit of a lag there, and that's definitely hurting the airlines. Mm. Mandy? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I want to ask you about um, Boeing in light of the fact that uh, its shares took an initial plunge, uh, dropping more than 12% on Monday, admittedly amidst uh, you know, a big market sell-off as well, um, as we got the news that uh, one of its employees tested positive for coronavirus. Um, apparently, if we can just show the shares in after our trade, perhaps... There we go. Coming back now, 2.9%. Uh, in light of the fact that increasingly, you know, every company is going to, you know, have a case of coronavirus or you're going to hear anecdotally of someone who knows somebody with coronavirus or at least in quarantine, do you feel that the initial reaction was an overreaction, Greg? Well, certainly with um, uh, Boeing, they have some very difficult challenges ahead, as does Airbus, I might add, as well, because you're going to see airlines, um, if this condition, this situation persists, airlines are really going to be looking to, um, you know, defer, defer taking deliveries, uh, potentially even cancel aircraft that they have in order. And this is very bad news for Boeing and for Airbus. And also this comes at an extremely challenging time for um, Boeing, which is really struggling to get the 737 MAX um, back into service. So the 737 MAX, you know, campaign effort is taking place at a very unprecedented time. So Boeing um, is really being hit by a double whammy here. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.